Okay, Digital Warriors, welcome back. We're going to continue on with our tutorials of the M1A1 uh, Abrams main battle tank here in Steel Beast. And we're going to pick up where we left off. So we are on tutorial mission uh, 5, which is gunnery mission E. And this is all about the thermal imaging system. So we're going to learn how the thermal imaging system, the TIS, TIS, can help you detect targets even in the daylight. So let's go ahead and open it up. And we'll get started in here. And we'll... Uh, will further our knowledge about how to operate uh, the M1's uh, tank and gunnery systems. So we're loading the mission now. <coughs> Excuse me. And as soon as we get in the brief here, I'll read it off to you. All right, so the thermal imaging system. The thermal imaging system, TIS, or the TIS, on the M1, allows the gunner to find and destroy targets at night as well as during the daylight. Because engines, tracks, and wheels get hot, vehicles can easily be detected in the thermal view of the landscape, even when camouflaged. This is why, even in daytime, the TIS is, the pref is preferred over the day optics when scanning for targets. When the TIS is on, a thermal image is formed on a cathode ray tube and then optically projected onto the GP GPS eyepiece. And that's, if you guys remember, GPS stands for Gunner's Primary Sight. Thus, the TIS view can be seen only in the GPS. The TIS has a magnification setting of 3x and 10x, which is the same as the day optic on the GPS, although the magnification controls are independent of each other. To turn on the TIS, to turn the TIS on and off in Steel Beast, press the numeric keypad plus key, not the plus key to the left of the backspace key. The polarity of the TIS can also be changed by the numeric minus key. In this mission, try to find six enemy vehicles hiding in the trees. First use day sights and then the TIS. Notice how much it is how much easier the TIS makes detection. Detection. Of course, you can always laze and shoot the targets in the TIS view. So we should be on the same range. Uh, we should know this area by now. It'll be a similar setup to the previous missions. We'll have six tanks out here, and uh, we're going to take a look at them. So we're going to go into the gunner's primary site, the GPS. And here we are in the day site. And obviously we can see this guy. There's another guy there hiding in those trees and let's go ahead and zoom in we can see that APC um, but we'll scan around here in the day site there's another BRDM and we'll take a look in the TIS in both uh, white hot and black hot view and just see how much easier it is when you're using that thermal imaging site uh, you know just as you would or just as you may want to during the day so let's go ahead and turn the TIS on and you can just see how things stand out. And as it, you know, said in the description, it's because, you know, tanks, tracks, treads, engines, uh, you know, these things get hot, even during the daylight. So it's much easier to spot them out using the TIS versus, uh, let's get a, let's take a look at this guy here. So when you're scanning for targets, you might miss this guy right here in these woods, this BMP. Uh, with the TIS on, you're definitely going to notice him. And when you hit the minus key, you know, it just turn, it reverses the polarity of the site. So, black hot versus white hot. So, the darker the areas, the hotter the part of the vehicle. So, you can see here, if we turn on white hot, where the engine compartment is in the back, it kind of shows up. Same thing here, when you reverse the polarity. Uh, you know, the blacker the, the, the darker the object, the, uh, the hotter the part of the, uh, the vehicle. So, just like on this tank... You can see how the treads, the barrel, the engine all show up really hot. And let's go ahead and laze and shoot. Similar uh, mechanics, just like as we've been doing with the gunnery. Um, you just put the, the, the crosshairs on them. Laze with the right mouse button. He's 1,900 meters away. And you shoot. And that's a hit. Dump the lead. You can see the flames coming off of him right there. If we hop out of the tiz, there you have it. So... Go ahead and hit this other tank. BMP. Fire. That should be a solid kill. Go ahead and hit him again. Let's hit him on a black hot here. There he goes. Pops turret. Dump the lead. Now, I like lazing in white hot. I, I generally shoot in white hot just because I, I find it easier on my eyes. This tends to be way too bright for me. Uh, black hot, but to each his own. Hit this tank. Let's go ahead and hit him again, just make sure he's dead. 
Alright, he should be toast. Catch this guy here. He should be toast. Yeah, we see fire coming off of him right there. And then that last BRDM. And he should be toast. And we'll go and put another one into him. Scan around. I think we might have to put another round into the uh, that tank. Nope, he's burning. He's burning. That's three. Did we miss one? Four. Five. We did. We missed that tank over here on the left. There he is. What's he look like in black hot? That's really good right there. Got him. Alright, that should be mission complete, guys. So that's the thermal imaging system. Um, it's it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, obviously, the site can get damaged, and we'll have to you know go off onto the uh, the auxiliary sites or just using the regular day site. But we'll cover those in uh, future tutorials. All right. So I'm glad you guys are liking these missions. Uh, we've gotten a pretty good response off of the previous ones, pre my previous videos. We're going to keep rolling through the rest of the tutorials. So just make sure you hit that like button and uh, subscribe. All right, guys. We'll see you later.